Today, few companies have the potential to make a deep and lasting impact on the Philippine economy as San Miguel Corporation. As recently as three or four years ago, say the name San Miguel and the association would be a beer or food product. Indeed, the San Miguel brand and its affiliated brands, Magnolia, TJ Hot Dogs, and Pure Foods, just to name a few, are among the most recognized and trusted in the country. Visit any home in the archipelago, and it's very likely you will find at least one San Miguel product. But this was the San Miguel of old. Today's San Miguel is an entirely different story. With close to 17,000 employees in more than 100 major facilities in the Philippines, Southeast Asia, China, and Australia, San Miguel is one of the first Filipino multinationals. Briefly, a rundown of San Miguel's major traditional business units. Established as a single product brewery in 1890, San Miguel Brewery operates five breweries throughout the Philippines and six breweries in Asia. Its product portfolio consists of nine popular beer products catering to the distinct tastes and preferences of beer drinkers across all segments and markets in the Philippines. With an enviable 95% market share, San Miguel Brewery posted 67.6 .6 billion pesos in revenues in 2010 with an EBITDA of 24 billion pesos. Liquor and Spirits subsidiary Hinebra San Miguel Incorporated is the world's largest seller of gin by volume and the runaway market leader in the domestic liquor market. In addition, it has a non-carbonated beverage business under the Magnolia brand. GSMI revenues for 2010 reached 22.7 billion pesos. EBITDA amounted to 2.06 billion pesos. San Miguel Pure Foods Company Incorporated offers a wide array of food products with a portfolio of brands that includes some of the best loved names in the food industry. 2010 was a record-breaking year for the food group with sales revenues totaling 80.4 billion pesos. EBITDA reached 7.66 billion pesos. San Miguel Yamamura Packaging Corporation provides a wide range of packaging solutions to various industries, including the food, pharmaceutical, chemical, beverage, and personal care industries across Asia-Pacific, Middle East, Africa, and the United States. For 2010, revenues were 23.4 billion pesos, while EBITDA was 3.90 billion pesos. Although initially established as SMC's corporate real estate arm, San Miguel Properties later diversified into commercial property development in market opportunities. Its current portfolio of projects include mixed-use developments with economy to middle-income housing as its core products. San Miguel's transformation from a food and beverage company into a highly diversified conglomerate is nothing short of staggering. After consolidating core businesses and bringing its beer unit public, San Miguel began a series of acquisitions that have irrevocably changed the complexion of the organization. From a starting point in October 2008, when the company bought a significant stake in Meralco, San Miguel has been in full-on acquisition mode, adding new engines of growth to the century-old company. The San Miguel portfolio is one that offers a mix of consumer goods and vital services. Highly integrated operations that, taken together, contributed an estimated 5% to the Philippines' gross domestic product in 2010. The businesses of old remain strong cash and profit generators with beer as the flagship. Yet, it is the company's new engines of growth that are set to ratchet up San Miguel's growth. The company has employed five key strategies for growth. To enhance the value of the core businesses. to diversify further into industries that underpin the growth of the Philippine economy. To identify and pursue synergies within and among businesses. To invest in and develop businesses in which the company can be the dominant player. 
and to enter into strategic partnerships and to adopt best-in-class practices that will further benefit its businesses. With a new reinvigorated business portfolio, there is plenty of upside to investing in San Miguel. Petron Corporation is a market leader in the Philippines in terms of sales volume in the retail, industrial, and LPG market segment. The company runs the largest integrated oil refinery in the Philippines with a crude distillation capacity of 180,000 barrels per day. In recent years, the company has made substantial investments to upgrade its refinery, which will allow Petron to produce higher margin and value-added products. The company has a network of over 30 depots supplying 1,200 industrial customers, 1,700 retail service stations, 85 convenience stores, and over 164 quick-serve restaurants, which provide Petron with an enviable distribution infrastructure. Petron generated revenues of 229.1 billion pesos in 2010, with a EBITDA of 15.8 billion pesos. In a relatively short period, San Miguel has built a power company with a full spectrum of power plants and IPPA contracts that are operated and maintained together with world-class independent power producers. San Miguel's power and energy portfolio also includes coal mining assets, which provide a natural hedge against rising raw material costs, and power distributor Meralco, which sells electricity through a vast Luzon-based network. As a vertically integrated power company, SMC enjoys the advantage of being able to drive and capitalize on synergies in fuel sourcing, power generation, and power distribution. Pro forma revenue of the power sector was 66.1 billion pesos for 2010. EBITDA was at 20.6 billion pesos. Through San Miguel Holdings Corporation, San Miguel holds significant investments in concessions for toll road assets, an airport, and a light rail system. Phase 1 of the 88.5 km 2 lane Tarlac Pangasinan La Union Expressway began April 2010. As administrator of the toll project, SMC will provide management services, toll collection, traffic safety and security management, toll road maintenance and other related services. San Miguel also owns the company in charge of developing the Metro Rail Transit Line 7, or MRT7, a planned 44-kilometer long rail and road project starting from San Jose del Monte in Bulacan and ending in North Avenue in Quezon City. In addition, San Miguel is currently overseeing the modernization of the Boracay Airport. Long-term expansion projects involve the construction of a bigger airport passenger terminal, extension of the existing runway and improvement of the road network, and upgrading of airport facilities and air traffic control aids. Rounding out San Miguel's portfolio of new businesses is telecommunications. San Miguel's fledgling broadband and mobile telecommunications business includes Y-Tribe Telecoms Incorporated, Bell Telecommunications Philippines Incorporated, and Eastern Telecommunications Philippines Incorporated. These three telecommunications assets own valuable frequencies that are highly strategic to the industry. Weighted to better margins and with a EBITDA two times higher than that of the existing traditional businesses, Already, Petron and San Miguel's power sector are boosting aggregate earnings in a way no one thought possible just a few short years ago. SMC is now the market leader in the power, fuel, and oil sectors, with revenues, EBITDA, and net income sharply up from a year ago. San Miguel revenue in 2007, the year the company first articulated its diversification strategy, was some 148 billion pesos. By 2010, the company was reporting over 246 billion pesos in revenue, roughly a 66% increase over a four-year period. This pie chart shows the 2007 revenue contribution of the three traditional businesses of San Miguel Corporation, beverage, food, packaging. Now, take a look at the pie chart of San Miguel's 2010 numbers. Assuming the full-year consolidation of both Petron Corporation and San Miguel's power business, 
you now see that Petron contributed nearly half of San Miguel's total revenues, larger than the contribution of the three traditional businesses combined. For its part, Power contributes 14% to the total revenue mix, overtaking the packaging division and closely matching the contribution of the food business. Oil refining or power generation are not industries you would have typically associated with San Miguel just a few years ago. Yet these businesses may very soon become the flagships of the new San Miguel. In fact, pro forma revenue of 474.6 billion pesos in 2010 will likely more than double once all of San Miguel's new projects are on stream in the next five years. Today, the new businesses already comprise 51% of the total SMC portfolio. By 2015, this percentage is projected to rise to about 71%. It's the same picture that we see emerging in terms of the company's EBITDA. Here is a look of EBITDA contributions for San Miguel's core businesses in 2007. And this is the same pie with EBITDA as of 2010. Petron and the power business are gaining a sizable slice of the pie. This even as the company works to maximize synergies among its businesses and continues to invest heavily in programs that will further upgrade capacity and strengthen the profitability of each of its business units. Never has strategic change manifested so quickly in a Philippine company as it does now for San Miguel. From the original cerveza that it began producing in 1890, San Miguel has moved on to become a company with the ability to touch the lives of Filipinos in ways it could never have imagined just decades ago. Always strongly supportive of its home country's national development, San Miguel has led the regional dispersal of industries and employment, providing thousands of Filipinos livelihood and business opportunities. By casting its net beyond its traditional businesses, and reinventing itself as a powerhouse conglomerate, San Miguel has carved for itself a unique role in the Philippine business landscape. Even at 120 years and counting, San Miguel is still a growth company.